Gingerbread man, everything that you can bake. God of creation, there at the start, before the beginning of time. With no point of reference You spoke to the dark And fleshed out the wonder of life And as you speak A hundred billion galaxies are born In the vapor of your breath The planet And if the stars were made to worship so light I can see your heart in everything you make Every burning star signal fire of grace And if creation sings your praises so alive Every painted sky and canvas of you 
through all of my failure and pride. On a hill you created, the light of the world, abandoned in darkness to die. And as you speak, a hundred billion failures disappear. We well, you lost your life so I could find it here. And if you left the grave behind you so alive, I can see. Welcome to Kids Church. I'm so pleased that you're tuning in. I am loving the super cool jingles and the great teaching. Now this week I expect loads of you have started back at school. Maybe some children have even started a brand new school. I hope it's gone well. Perhaps some of you have loved getting back into it and perhaps for others it's just taking a few days to get back into the swing of things. What's that, Snappy? The Lord is with us wherever we go, even at school. You're quite right. And we know that because it says so in Joshua 1, verse 9. Yeah, brilliant. So this week we're learning all about how God has made the world and how he's entrusted us to take care of it. So God has created us all to be unique, we're all different. We all love making different things. And it was brilliant to see what you guys like making. Joseph likes making things with Lego, and Madeline likes making things with artwork. And I quite like baking and cooking, but I'm going to let you in on something here. Quite a long time ago, when Andy and I first got married, I wasn't very good at cooking. All I could do was crumble, curry, or pancakes, a very limited repertoire. So I spent the last 12 years gradually learning new recipes and now I'd say I'm actually a pretty amazing cook. Oh, oh no! Tea's ready, children! Oh, no again! Oh, great. When we first learn a new skill, it takes time to practice. God, however, didn't need to practice. It says in the Bible that when God had made the world, he looked at his creation and he saw that it was excellent. God is the creator of the universe. He flung the stars into the sky. And yet he also knows how many hairs there are on your head and about how you are feeling. He is all powerful and bigger than big. God, you made our big blue sky You made the oceans deep and wide 
God, you made the trees so tall. And your love is bigger than it all. And God, you're bigger than me. You're stronger than strong. You are mightier than mighty. And louder than this song. And your love for me stretches farther than far. I can imagine just how big. You made our big blue sky You made the oceans deep and wide God, you made the trees so tall And your love is bigger than it all God, you're bigger than big You're stronger than strong to argue with a brother, a sister, or a friend, saying, It's mine! No, it's mine! But actually, today's memory verse teaches us that everything belongs to God. The earth and everything in it belongs to the Lord. The world and all its people belong to him. Psalm 24, verse 1. Shall we say it together then? The earth and everything in it belongs to the Lord. The world and all its people belong to him. Psalm 24, verse 1. If I borrow something from somebody, I make sure to take really good care of it. I don't want to return it broken. Now we need to remember that we don't own this world, it's God's. We're just taking care of it and getting that bit sorted will help us with practical things like recycling, reusing things, walking or riding a bike instead of always jumping in the car. Long before I made the earth, I decided to make some friends. Oh, yeah! Perfect! They're gonna need a home! Uh... Oh! A neighborhood! Ho ho ho! They're gonna need a world! Okay, here we go! Woo! Oh, yeah! Oh, man! This is good! Oh, whoa! Woo, yeah, this is awesome! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, yeah!
Okay, that's crazy, but I love it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's great. Oh, look at that one. It's good. Oh, they'll love that. Oh, this is good. <laughs> that's tasty. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, wait, wait, some of that. Uh, one of these, uh, some more of that. Oh, wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. No, don't stop, I love it. Okay, oh yeah, oh, oh, oh. oh wow. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's one of these. I've always wanted one of these. Oh, I love that. Oh, this is good. Hi everyone, I just love that video of Toby and Jesus and how excited Jesus gets creating the world. I wonder what the best thing you have ever made is. We saw some earlier, didn't we? Some of the children, what they enjoy making. What do you enjoy making? Is it building something with Lego or baking a cake? I've seen some amazing things that you have made recently. You have some amazing creations, or perhaps it's building something or sewing. Do any of you sew? I used to, well, I still do love sewing. And I brought an embroidery, I don't know if you know what embroidery is, of something I am making. Now, I have been making this for a long, long time. I don't know if you can see it there. And it's lots of poppies and butterflies and lots of beautiful things that God has made. And I've been doing it a long, long time and it's still got a long way to go. But I know it's going to look really good when it's finished. God is a creative God and he created us to be friends with him. He created the earth, the animals and the plants for his enjoyment, but also for us. He is the landowner and we have a job to do. We are caretakers of his land. We have been given the job to look after it. Now, our memory verse earlier said, the earth and everything in it belongs to the Lord. The world and all its people belong to him. We need animals, we need plants, we need all of this stuff in order to live. The plants give us oxygen so we can breathe. We need water to be able to drink. And we need the plants that give us food. Like my tomatoes here, got some nice little red ones coming along which we can enjoy and eat. Hi, I'm here at the Eden Project in Cornwall and this area here, it used to be a clay pit and it was unused and they decided to create an environment that was sustainable, could look at lots of, uh, do lots of ecological research, but grow, allow plants to grow together and be interdependent upon one another. There are bees here, there are all types of exciting things and I'm going to explore some of those in a minute. But just take a look um, around us at all the different plants that are living together and how interdependent they are upon one another. Hi, we're now just going to go into one of the biomes where there's the largest man-made rainforest. Um, I'm going to have to put on my mask to go in. orangutans. I don't know if you know about the orangutans, but 
but they live in the forests and they're called like forest um, helpers really they they um, prune by taking the leaves off the trees to build their nests they disperse the seeds they eat the fruits and eat, eat the insects and actually help the forest to keep growing and maintain the environment it's in but sadly the forest has been being cut down to be used for other things produce palm oil and other things that we need or want um, and so the orangutans have actually started dying out now that made me very sad and that's just one example of what is happening in our world now i've got this little connects some of you know what connects is made a little connect triangle and this is representing god humans and the rest of creation okay so god humans the rest of creation now many of you probably know that our relationship with god over the years many of us and many people have turned away from God and we've broken that relationship with him. So it's no longer then. And then actually the effect that that's had on the rest of the world, on the rest of creation, it's no longer that lovely triangle, is it? Because it's, that's been broken. And that's not how God intended it to be. God intended it for us all to be joined together, for us all to depend on one another. We need God. God made creation for himself. Jesus made it because he loves it. He wanted to see all the beautiful animals and birds and plants. And he also made it for us to enjoy, for us for food, for enjoyment, for drink, all of those things that we've just talked about earlier. And we need it all to work together. And so we need to mend that relationship between us and God, between the world and God, where so many people have turned away. Perhaps you can think about it this week. What things could you and your family do to help the earth, help repair the earth, but also help people to turn back to God and restore that triangle? Would you like to join me in a prayer now? Let's just close our eyes. Just close your eyes where you are, and we're just going to pray. Father God, we are sorry for turning away from you. We're sorry for not looking after the beautiful world that you made. Help us to follow Jesus and do what is right, and love as he loves. Amen. God um, make rivers and um, and make pine trees. How does God make mountains and trees? So how does God make rivers, pine cones, mountains and trees? Well if I'm being honest, I'm not clever enough to know all the answers to that. I mean God's pretty smart. All, all the stuff he's made, including us, is really, really complex and interesting. It's like trying to explain how my brain works, or, or how I'm able to speak or see how the eye works, or whatever. You know, some really complicated things. So maybe how does it work is maybe not the right answer, but maybe why? Why did God make mountains, rivers, pine cones, and trees? And to be honest, it's just so that we can A, enjoy it, B, he can enjoy it, but also so that he's got something that constantly points the way towards him. Those things don't just pop out of thin air, they are things that gloriously point the way to a creator with imagination who loves us very much. I hope that helps somewhat. Take care.
Sometimes we just need to open our eyes a bit and notice it and to look after it. See what you can spot in God's creation this week. I'm off to make a sprout and chocolate souffle for our very, very lucky children. Ugh, yuck! Oh, have a great week, everybody. Bye!